The houses you see here are generated using artificial intelligence, specifically DALI or stable diffusion. In my Unity program, I can change the text prompt. For example, this one is hut front. And I can change the type of image I want. In this case, I want a painted object without background. And if I tick remove background here, you can see it will fill these pixels here to be transparent. And I can also give it a contour, a silhouette. And if I change the style, which is infused and inherited to the children, to, for example, Orc Village, let's see what happens. I change this to number one. And now it's a house, but in Orc Village style. And sometimes the result is not quite what I want. This house looks a bit broken in the center. And these are Orc Village skyscrapers. And let's change it to Cyberpunk Dystopia. So I take three. And there you go. It's now a cyberpunk village. And this is usually taking some seconds to render. So what you see here is the cached result. So it's a bit faster than normal. This would normally be nine requests to DALI or stable diffusion. Let's change to sci-fi. And these are the sci-fi huts, the sci-fi houses, and the sci-fi skyscrapers. I like these. I can also go to the style infusion on a higher level. So it will sort of inherit from here to there to there. Take all this and build a text prompt for the image generator. And in this case, I want it to be a golden hour. Oops, should be number one. Okay, golden hour. Update. And this is the golden hour look for the sci-fi, the science fiction city. I prepared a ground and background that looks a bit more fitting. So in the background, you can also just see another scaled up DALI generated image. In this case, I just entered golden hour city skyline. Whatever you see here will then be used as a prompt unless I use another prompt here specifically. And let's switch to the Orc Village. Let's go to the number one setting. And this is the Golden Hour Orc Village. I can also, let's go back to another light again. I can also switch to Blue Hour, for instance. One thing you will notice is with DALI, usually the more words you use, for instance, now I'm using blue hour orc village, plus a few other words to construct the prompt, the more likely it is to kind of maybe ignore one of the words. So I'm saying hut front or house front, but this one is kind of from the side. I'm leaving these bad examples in because this way you can see what's kind of an average result. These were not specifically picked. They were just the first three ones that DALI produced. And you can also see that the background here is not fully cleared, probably because it was a color gradient inside the image AI texture class. I can actually say to use different fill thresholds or can remove the object contour and so on. 
but I didn't do it in this case. I wanted to show what it would look like if something was dynamically generated without the developer even knowing uh, what the result would be. So this is kind of the average. So let's take a look at some more styles. I will set this to minus one, which means there will be no inherited infusion here. This one I will now set to digital metaverse. This is now the digital metaverse, whatever that is. And let's switch to Disneyland Glamour. This is Disneyland Glamour. Again, it's always hut, house and skyscraper. Let's go to Gotham City from Batman. And now we have these eerie comic book movie buildings. Oh, this one even has a bat symbol here. That's nice. Let's go to Ralph McQuarrie, who's a great designer, concept designer for Star Wars and other industrial designs. You can see it gives it a Star Wars look. You can also go directly to Star Wars. And this will be, this is a Star Wars building, I suppose. And this one even says Star Wars. And there's a spaceship. Or let's just say amazing architecture. And this, according to the AI, is amazing architecture. I like this. This could be a, an asset for your game. These are very symmetric. These are the skyscrapers. Let's switch to hypermodern. And this is hypermodern. I like this architecture. You can imagine living there in the future. <laughs> These are the sci-fi huts. Let's switch to colorful minimalistic. This is colorful minimalistic. You'll always see three samples here, but these could be a hundred uh, images. There are some costs to it, so you will pay a bit per dolly or well, actually for stable diffusion, you won't pay because you can run it locally. So in my class here, I can actually change the engine to stable diffusion local. This will take a bit longer to render. Um, the results vary. Um, in my tries, Dali is the best at actually providing a single color flat background if you instruct it to in your prompt. So. For example, in my prompt, I'm saying black background because I want to remove it again to not have it be a square. And DALI, the AI, will give the best results for me as um, opposed to stable diffusion. I, I suppose this will change in the future as these free engines like stable diffusion get better and better. By the way, I can also add normal map, which is a bump map, so I can make it look a tiny bit 3D as far as lighting goes. Uh, for example, for a, a rock on the ground or a rocky ground. Let's switch to the next style. We are at number 11, colorful minimalistic. Let's go to wonderful atmospheric. And this is wonderful atmospheric. I like this one. This one is nice, but the background would need some threshold flood fill optimization. Here are wonderful atmospheric skyscrapers. Let's go to Minecraft. And these are the generated Minecraft buildings. 
I'm actually using a keyword for every prompt when it uses this painted object uh, selection and that keyword is art station and using art station you get great fantasy results fantasy artwork or concept art or science fiction results due to the website art station using those and they were used as training corpus for DALI apparently and so in this case that means it's mixing art station with Minecraft which is not really a thing that exists but so it kind of merges that if I would use no um, art station keyword here it would probably look more minecrafty now let's go to pixel art number 14 oops oops um, I think I didn't have this cached which means it's not connecting live I hope this won't crash because I'm recording while it's calculating. This will now connect live to DALI and deliver the results when it's ready in a few seconds. And it will also remove the background and everything. So let's see. Pixel art isn't cached. I'm now waiting. And it takes even longer than usual, maybe because I'm recording. Okay. There you go. That was a live pulled results. I never saw these before. And this is pixel art style. Let me just ensure I didn't infuse any style here. Yeah, I didn't. Okay. Let's go to Elven Village, which hopefully is cached this time. Yes. So this is the Elven Village. This one looks great this one as well these are the elven huts let's go to dwarf village and these are dwarven buildings barbarian what is a barbarian village this is a barbarian village apparently like this one like you have this bone structure or trees so this is what a barbarian house looks like and this is a barbarian skyscraper this could be straight from Elden Ring or something <laughs> oh yeah disclosure this is 2d doesn't even have a backside let's go just enter fantasy This is just fantasy as a keyword. This also looks nice. Evil. Let's take evil and see what evil buildings look like. These are evil buildings. <laughs> These are evil skyscrapers. And finally, colorful fantasy. Oh, this one is interesting. This is colorful fantasy. This could be a fairy tale uh, house. So yeah, this is uh, this is what the style infusion looks like here in Unity. I have another scene where I just drop a whole lot of stuff into a kind of village, and in this case, I ask for the quads, the plates here, the images to always rotate towards the camera, which doesn't look perfect, but it kind of is better than nothing. And, and everything you see here was not manually picked. I just said something like org warrior and then let it generate variations. Uh, there's this feature where for example I can use random variations this one uses index 0 but I can also say like give me anything from uh, 1 to 5 or 0 to 5 then it will pick a random one this one is also breathing a bit which is this 
tick box, this checkbox, so it's kind of a bit more lifelike. If you have any comments what could be done to make this more visually appealing or more interesting, because I don't think it's quite there yet, but it's interesting. But if you have any comments, please comment what could be done here to make this world even more interesting and visually appealing. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.